Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here with another episode of Obscurity. So at the end of my last episode I had been completing quite a few quests. I'd done a lot in terms of like the industrial, I managed to unlock the industrial evolution quest line. So uh, this episode I think what I want to do is try and go to the village cube and maybe even the water cube just to tick them off. So in terms of the village cube we need uh, 924 minus 327. So let's go to here. So let's create a new one. Uh, so this is the village cube. So what was it? 924. And was it like minus 327? Let's uh, double check that. So 924 minus 327. Uh, let's make sure we've actually got that right. 924 minus 327, Y84. So let's have a quick look at the map, see whereabouts that is. So it's over here somewhere. So it's similar distance away to the desert, which isn't too bad. So I think we can probably head over there. Uh, so let's get out our hang glider. Let's make sure our engine is turned on and then we'll probably head over there. We'll turn off the hover. So let's uh, boost up and then glide. And then I think I need to hold shift. Uh, yeah, that boosts me along faster, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that was where the uh, ice ice cube one, wasn't it? The uh... So probably gonna, go, probably gonna go a little bit further and then find ourselves a column to rest at. That is looking perfect. Oh crap. So let's uh, go in here. Oops a daisy, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go, that's better. So we'll just rest here for 30 seconds. Then head back out again. So how far are we? 671, and then home is yes. Yeah, so we've got about 300 meters. We've got about two thirds of the way already. So it looks like we can go about 300 meters without having to um, without succumbing to the darkness, which is quite nice. So let's uh, glide up. Come on, there we go. Zoom along. So we get to about 300 meters away, and then we'll probably take another another rest somewhere. Come on. We don't want to obviously succumb to the darkness if we can help it. Let's keep boosting. That will do. Uh, so let's go downwards. We'll kind of dig, a, dig our way in here. There we go. Give us a few seconds. So we just stand in the light like so. Let's put another torch down just to be on the safe side. So yeah, we're about 326 meters away now, so it's not too bad. Uh, and then we'll hopefully get in there. Uh, Go, in, go inside the cube, see what's inside, dig up the cube, and then head home. That is the plan anyway. So I think we're ready to head out. So if we fly upwards, come on, hang glider, work with me here. So I like we can see a lot of nodes around, which is interesting. So that'll be the kind of thing which we'll be like flying around for later on and scanning a lot of, in theory. So I'm just going to uh, rest here for a second. Let me just dig in for a second, and we'll head over to the uh, village cube, which is just over there on on just over yonder. So let's glide over if we can. Actually, what we want to do is turn on hover just to be on the safe side, and let's deselect. And then what we want to do is, uh, oh no, there it is. Okay, so we've actually we're inside here now. Okay, so we've got things like potatoes and villagers to trade with. Okay, was this, um, does this actually tell me on, no, it didn't actually tell me from here. If I go back out, um, is it upgraded? Yes, okay, so that's cool. So we can literally just grab you and then fly back the way we came. So we're heading home now. That was nice and simple. Oh yeah, we want to boost, don't we? Oh yeah, we want to take off hover so we're not uh, wasting our power. So let's, uh... Was this where we... No, that's not where we rested before, but we can rest here just for a second. Got ourselves a bow. Can I snipe a... Uh, oh, let's not ang... I did not want to anger an enderman there. Let's get out of here. Come on, there we go. Ah, that's where we rested before. I can see it there. Come on. I'm doing this completely wrong. I always forget, like, which way around to do these kind of things. Gonna boost along as fast as possible. So we're about 300 meters away from home now, which is good. I'm going to try and get back there as fast as possible. Okay, let's um, turn on the hover. Oh, no, that's the engine quick. I don't, I don't want to do that. Uh, keep the engine on, hover off. That's what I want to do, really. 
when I'm doing the hang glider. So we're almost back home, 300 meters away. So we just give this a few seconds just so we don't die. I did get that. Yeah, I did get the uh, village machine so we can actually do something with it in a minute. So let's head back out. Pretty cool. So the hang glider was still active apparently. And that we need forget I need to boost, don't I? There we go. If you hold down shift, basically what I'm doing is just like boosting with the hang glider. It's just like essentially diving. So I go really fast. So we'll just take this off. Run along. Ah! But yeah, that was close. Obviously, he was just about to succumb to the darkness there, and then um, it started almost almost killed me, which was interesting. So, got another machine here. So we got ourselves the village machine, which we've now got back at base. So if we, yep, we visit that one. So we get some emerald ore and spawn villager. So I'm going to do emerald ore as we've managed to bring this back. Is that a decent full heart? Which it is. Oh, I have maximum lives. Fair enough. Okay, that makes a change. Let's see what we've actually got in here now. So, we've got some villages that we can trade with. So, we've got things like gold ingots, pattern chest. We get all berry bushes. What else have we got? Okay, he'll give me an iron sword with sharpness. Pretty cool. A world resizing interface. I wonder what that does. Uh, what else have we got in with these testificates? Got gold ore berry bushes, redstone. Uh, that's cool. So, is there anything on the inside? I'm looking for like chests and stuff, obviously. Uh, I think I left my axe on the outside, so I'm about to go and find you in a minute, but let's have a quick search around if the testificates, you know, will actually... Anything under here? Nope. Looking around to see if there's a chest anywhere. There's probably one in here somewhere, but uh, I just got to find it. So, oops a daisy. Come on, let me select my pickaxe already. Is there a chest in here at all? No, there is not. I wonder where the, I wonder where the secret chest is on this uh, this cube. If there is one, of course. There's usually one. So uh, I'm just wondering if, uh, if if it holds true with this one. And if it's hiding hiding away like under underneath here or something. It's demolishing their like little houses till I find one. I'm determined to find myself a, t uh, a chest. Now, that guy was giving away a diamond pickaxe, which is interesting. So no chest here. Okay, maybe there's not a chest in this particular one unless it's. Um, Oops, I always forget I've got my um, boots of the Traveller. Yeah, Traveller's boots, so they can, I can just climb up steps, can't I? Um, if it's going to be anywhere, I reckon it's going to be underneath here, but uh, I don't know. Unless it's up here, maybe? No, can't see a uh, chest anywhere. Anywhere up here, maybe? Nope, no, oh, no there, there's a chest. Found it, eventually. It was hidden. Ooh, look at all the emeralds we've got. We've got spawn villager, we've got carrots, we've got unlit torches, some thormium. Pretty cool. Hoe of growth. Very nice. Okay, so we found the, the uh, we found that eventually. So let's uh, head back out. Awesome. So we've done that particular uh, that particular bit. Even found ourselves a door as well. Very nice. Let's put you away. Uh, let's dump some stuff. So emerald ore. Uh, emeralds can go in consumables, as can so thormium ingots will go in there. Got a load of food and stuff as well. So you go in there. Yeah, you can go in. No, you won't go in there. Uh, invite. No, I want the invite torches. Uh, dirt go building block. Sticks can go in there. Four heart maze will go in there for now, as can the redstone torches. A uh, hoe of growth can go in there, as can the potatoes and the carrots, as can the spawn villager. I think. There we go. We've even got we got a, a normal sized compact machine, which we are never going to use. Okay, so what's Wall Street? So trading posts. By now you have found various ways of getting missing items. You may find it even easier profitable to trade with villagers. The trading post allows you to see all available villager trades within a certain area. Okay, so let's have a quick look. What do I need for that trading post? So that is wood around a block of emeralds. Okay, how much emeralds have we got? We've got six there. Do I have any more? I thought I must have. Um, I've got two emerald ore there. Let me just have a quick look at. So we can smelt, pulverize, or sagmill. I think sagmill is probably going to be the best one here. So let's just run you through here. We've got one. Okay, never mind. I've got two from that one, though. Excellent. So that gets us our nine emeralds that we need to actually. Um, What's the one I'm looking for? Oh, do we actually have a block of emerald? I can't remember. From, can't remember. I don't think we have a block of emerald anywhere. No. Okay. So trading post. Yeah, there's a block of emerald, a juke box, which we need a diamond for. Okay. 
fairly expensive recipe this trading post and then yeah we just need a load of wood after that so let's grab some oak wood transform you so we'll make the jukebox followed by the trading post which what am i missing um it's just planks surely um i oh, know yeah sorry block of em block of emerald first of course there we go there we go one trading post so we can probably go and put that back in the um go back into here what we can probably then do is just drop this down here ah there we go so that should tell us so that's really cool i like that so we can actually see all the different recipes that we've got so we can see that we can give them nine gold and we get an emerald back or we can spend 11 or spend emeralds on certain things or we give them an iron sword and emerald and we get a an enchanted iron sword okay that's fairly cool so do we get a reward for that we do oh excellent we get four blocks of emeralds so that really was worth it cool uh we get a great reward bag as well we can turn them into uh, emeralds themselves. What are we going to get? Lapis lazuli ore. Wow, that's really, really useful. I'm hoping you can sense all the sarcasm in my voice there. Let's put the lapis ore in there. We shall then put the emeralds away, as well as the building materials. There we go. So what about the water cube? How far away is that? 796. So it's actually a bit closer than the, uh, the village one, so... Uh, it's on the surface which is cool so the great oceans once gave life to us all without them we wouldn't be here track down the cube who knows where there might be treasure okay so i think we can do that what do we also got? So got oh yeah we've got the deep dark dungeon so that's 836 meters away we want to leave that till later on when we're actually feeling a little bit safer but yeah let's um do we do we get do we get an ender one no we haven't unlocked the ender one yet that is the last one by the looks of things so uh let's have some melon juice um so yeah let's do this so it's 419 minus 700 oops today i'm zoom i'm pressing the zoom button on my map by accident so what was that again so 419 minus 700 so if we do new so we do water so 419 and then minus 700 okay so let's have a quick look whereabouts is it uh trying to find it there's the water cube so it doesn't looks it looks further it looks further away than the village one, but apparently it's not because that one was eight hundred nine meters away, and that one was it doesn't actually say. Um, okay, so we we we'll probably actually see them. So the village is nine hundred twenty six, whereas the water one's only eight hundred. Okay, fair enough. So we've got plenty of juice in our jetpack, so I think we should probably head over there. So it's uh, boost right upwards glide so where, where we're heading we're heading that way aren't we okay so we'll zoom over so we'll boost over to about 500 meters find ourselves a column to rest at and then make the rest of the way so i don't really want to go that one that's not quite where i would want to go it's interesting a uh, bit there so let's uh put down a torch what is that i have no idea what that is but uh unless that's somewhere we have to go later on that could be the end one maybe looks like it could be it's uh i can't really tell what it is from here very weird it's got different bits of oops today's even pressing space while accent there that was a bit weird i was like what the hell's going on i'm suddenly going upwards um so yeah there's the water cube over there somewhere you yeah, have no idea what's going on there but uh interesting it's just something random so let's uh head back outwards come on hang glider come on why is it not deploying oh what the hell Okay, that was a bit of a uh, bit of a glitch there. Very weird. Oh, that was really bizarre. What the hell caused that? I got lag on a single player world. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> Very weird. Very weird indeed. Never had that happen before. Whoa, we've got a world hole. What is going on? Okay. Oh god, what is what is going on? We're having all sorts of problems here, guys. Uh, there's some kind of corruption or something, maybe? I can't tell, but this is all very weird. Um, I've got a world hole. Uh, I'm just going to re-log quick, and I'll meet you back meet, meet you back in a second if you made it to the water cube. Okay, guys, so I am back. Um, let's, uh, is that upgraded? Yes, it is upgraded, so let me go inside. Let's have a quick loop, so Daisy. Wow. Okay, is, can I actually breathe in here? Uh, no, I cannot. Okay, let me um, get back out of here then. Oh god! Oh, let me ah! Let me fly. Engine on. Oh god! Uh, let me 
do this for a second. So apparently I can't actually breathe in there, so I'm just going to fly over to here quick. Um, put down a torch, just so I don't die from the darkness, and go retrieve that in a second. Whew, I didn't realize I could actually breathe in there, so I'm going to have to actually just grab that in a second. So um, we'll fly back down, dig it up, and then um, do that. So let me hover over. So get the pickaxe selected. I don't think there's anything else around now. Let me mine you up. I think we picked it up. Head back up. Whew. I mean, I'll find out. I'll, I'll double check that I've actually picked it up in a second once I'm back up here. So did we get it? No, I did not. Crap. Where the hell did it go? Uh, this is not good. So where the hell did the damn thing go? Oh, there it is. Pick it up, damn it. Oh, God's sake. Uh, did I get it that time? No, I did not. Damn it. So I have to try again in a second. I have to try and pick pick, pick it up, because apparently I, you know, didn't do that. Rather frustrating. Uh, let's drink some melon juice. Uh, we'll, we'll chill here by the light for a second. Can I, like, shoot anything? Was anything down there? Yeah, there's a spider down there. Can I get him? Not quite. Yeah, now, now I'm getting him. Come on. We're going to snipe him. So I want to pick up that compact machine if I if I can. Would be nice. There we go. Got him. Let's try it again. So I'll try and pick it up. Wherever the hell it went. Can't actually see it. Interesting. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. But I can't actually see it. Did I get it? I can't see it. Where the hell's it gone? Okay. I can't actually see the damn thing. This is not good. Right, okay. So apparently I don't actually have that compact machine. It just disappeared. Um, now I'm a little bit confused. I've... What the hell happened to it? Um, I'm like mega confused now. What the hell happened to that compact machine? I might have to go and light up that area once we've uh, killed a few mobs, maybe. I don't want to anger the en Endermen, really. They're dangerous. So he's going to try and snipe some zombies. Right, so we, we don't want to use up too much fuel so we can actually you know get home. But uh, let's try and light up this area quick. Oh, crap. Where the hell did it go? I can't actually see it. Um, did it end up in here or something? No. I can't see it. Where the hell's it gone? I can't actually see where this uh, compact machine went. It's just disappeared. Oh, God's sake. You're joking. I needed that as well. That had the... Um, that had all the sodding ink in it. Ugh. Where the hell did it go? Did a zombie pick it up or something? I can't tell. Oh my god. Um, right, that's mega frustrating. Um, I might have to almost... Have I got a Roma on this? Let's double check. Um, I can't see a Roma, which is weird. Don't know why it's not backing up, but yeah. Um... I might have to go and double check that. Let me figure out what's going on and I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, so I have no idea what happened. It, it's just disappeared and I now don't know how I'm supposed to get ink because that was my only way of getting it. Um, but yeah, that's very weird. So I'm probably just going to... I'm really bummed out by that, so I might just end off the episode here for now. Like, I, there's not really much else I can do. I'm, I, I'll have a look. Maybe go for a backup, see if I can actually find it. But, uh, but yeah, I can't get the ink sacks I actually need to finish off this or the Thorncraft quest now because I have no idea how else I'm supposed to get it because I can't see that compact machine anywhere on my person. It just disappeared. I've not. It was on the ground. I thought I picked it up. I didn't. Spider attacked me and then it disappeared. So I don't know what happened to it. Um... So yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed by that, but uh, so I'll either reload an old save, see if I can find it again, 
or I don't know. But I'm thinking about bringing this series to a close soon anyway, as I just don't have the time to finish um, a hardcore questing uh, pack, mod pack. I enjoy the beginning, kind of like completing those initial quests, but once you're in this situation, it's kind of just a grind. Like, it's just going to take me forever just to complete all of these quests, so... I'm kind of just thinking just round off the episode. So I might do one final episode next week. But uh, yeah, that'll probably be it. So um, I am going to start uh, an LP of the Minecraft Adventure Mode soon. So that comes out in like two weeks time. So I will probably uh, kind of start playing through that as well. I want to kind of start doing more story based stuff uh, really so I want to kind of like pack in and maybe only do one Minecraft series at a time. So yeah, I um, that's probably my plans for the future. So uh, I'm just going to leave it here for now. As always guys, don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.